and welcome from the St. Jakob Park, the home of FC Basel. I'm Peter Drury and this is Jim Beglin. A delight to have him on board. Well, thanks, Peter. There's a great sense of anticipation in this stadium. and I've been hit by it too. time it would have sneaked in well to have had a few attempts already in this game augurs well for what's to come it's been a very bright start from them and he certainly caught him there it's a free kick to get it away tries lifting it over clears it out of harm's way looks to slip it through good stop that wasn't easy well, I can only add that he's got reflexes that are in perfect working order, Peter. That was very good to watch. <laughs> Away from immediate danger. Safety. Cagliari have played a lot of games just lately. Squad rotation or tinkering start to become prevalent at times like this. Absolutely. I think nowadays the science that goes on behind the scenes can tell a manager who's in the best shape so he can use that information now to juggle his squad. That has put a stop to that. can get it clear fires from distance it's a busy front line uh, lots of movement and is that working for you well not really to be honest I, I'm not a great fan of taking goal potential away from the penalty box expecting a better ball than that keeper's got good distance on that boots it upfield loose ball who's going to get that well played he saw that coming tries a through ball Boriello now the pass now here's the through ball. Great leap! Oh, just needed a better contact. Oh, they really wanted that. There's so many players in the box. Everyone's committed to attack now. Battle 
chance to win it back. Spoon forward. Oh, they're guilty of lacking inventiveness here. It's all broken down. Just stood firm. Deftly done. Doriello looking to get on the end of this. Passes it through. And the ball's come loose and the chase is on. the cross it's in upfield oh, well intercepted really alert to the danger Adebayor with the ball through keeper's got good distance on that referee's had a look and he's blown his whistle for half-time. An engrossing half, but we're still where we started. Nil-nil. That gets things going for the second half. So, deadlock still as the second half begins. Who's going to make this theirs? Towards the front. Tarouin gets it back. He's gone for it. He can get that clear. Real chance. And Adebayo. It's broken loose. It's an untidy challenge, free kick given. Oh, that's a booking, always looked it. through tries a through ball well that's where he wants it Taxidis battles to win it back yeah, he's pulled him up for that challenge Passes it in low. Tries a long pass towards the front. Now it's Boriello. Gets it upfield. Bruno Alves gets into the right position to intercept. And back to base. Defence has got rid of that. Forward it goes. quickly he goes long just ruffled a few feathers that'll be a throw there's some activity down on the touchline it seems there's going to be a change Lacazette direct it's a long ball but it's not hit its target and he's on his way it's a loose ball comes in hard but he's taken enough of the ball if we're going to get a winner it's got to come now where to from here 
good challenge. He just stood firm. Body yellow. Bruno Alves. Yeah, he's fouled him there. Chance. Who's loose? Who's getting there? Necessary. Kirikesh. Charges in. Bruno Alves can hoist it clear. Cagliari have decided now is the time to make their final change. Well, his stamina was called into question then, but there's absolutely nothing wrong with his heart and, and the efforts he put in. He was very willing, though, not quite able. Borriello. Passes it through. Pumps it upfield. And that's a foul. Free kick's been given. If not for fans, then perhaps for coaches, satisfied by organisation and solidity. A little cutting edge at either end, and it finishes nil-nil. So, Jim, how do you reflect on what we've seen? Well, there were times when they looked like winning it, and times when they looked like losing it. So, they'll be reasonably happy to, to end up at what they've got. And with that, it's time for me to thank Jim Beglin, and to wish you a very good evening.